Hey guys, Des is back here with Sean. How's it going? And Heather. Hello. And uh, they got Resident Evil 2, we got Claire Redfield and uh, an Umbrella Corps people person there. So why Resident Evil 2? Why these characters? Well, Resident Evil 2 was one of my favorite games growing up, you know, in the uh, mid-late 90s or so. And uh, I probably played the crap out of that game on N64. And uh, as soon as it came back, uh, the remake, I was super excited. So uh, we, we wanted to come out to PAX and uh, represent. Yeah, uh, Resident Evil has always been a favorite series of mine. And when we saw the remake preview, and it's in there right now as well, actually, so excited, so, so excited. Why Claire Redfield? Uh, well, there's not that many female characters, but I also played the crap out of Resident Evil 2, and Claire Redfield's the main character in that, and, you know, she kicks some butt, so that's always pretty fun. Absolutely, and you pull it off really well, looks great, you got a lot of details in there that are really appreciated, so, with that being said, yeah, it's so good. With that being said, why, or what work did you uh, put into it? Well, for mine, it was a lot of shopping for just specific pieces. Like, we live in Calgary, so I got some cowboy boots easy enough. Um, and then I had to attach, you know, sheaths, get the printed, make the wig, because I don't actually have that this much hair in real life, and just, just sourcing stuff and then making sure it looked right and putting it all together. So you had it printed on the coat and then you made the wig? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I styled it and everything, so. That's awesome, very well done. And you, what, what were gonna put went in putting this together? Uh, really, uh, the same thing. I just kind of had to source all the different bits and pieces. Uh, most of it came online, other it came from uh, military surplus. Um, but uh, the hardest part was actually getting the gas mask, because this is a, a British surplus gas mask I had to get from the UK, and then I had to modify the lenses myself, so. Wow, so a lot of good personal work in there. Well done, Sean, very well done. So, if you guys could pick any other character to cosplay, who would you choose and why? Sean, we're going to start with you. I think I'm going to go Reinhardt from Overwatch, just because he's a bona fide badass, and he just looks awesome and carries a big hammer. Yeah, if somebody could make the armor for me, I would agree with that, for sure. Heather? Uh, I also have done Overwatch cosplays already. I'm a competitive weightlifter in real life, so I did Zarya in her weightlifter outfit. Um, and my next one is going to be somebody from Dragon Age. Probably Isabella. Okay, that's awesome. Competitive weightlifter and then being a Zarya on top of that. <laughs> choice. Very, very good choice. So, you said you have an Instagram that we can see more of your cosplay on. What is that? It's a tight underscore assets underscore van city. I also stream some of my cosplay stuff on Twitch, so. Awesome. Well, thank you both so much for talking to us. We really appreciate that. And we'll see you guys later with more cosplay. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our PAX West coverage. We had a great time. Yeah, it was a great weekend. If you want to see more, please sure, be sure to subscribe. We've got a lot more videos. A lot more. A we also lot. have a lot of Let's Play, tabletop games, podcasting, and other stuff on our channel. Yeah, so please be sure to check out those too. Uh, thank you so much. Hope you guys subscribe, and we'll see you again later. Bye. Bye.